obviously you're moving on to the next step to find a replacement. You, you said you've already had some some candidates already approach you. Um, just as a sort of backdrop to that, coming to the sort of detail maybe more in a second, but the club, as we know, is adhering to the financial fair play rules. Is that a consideration for the club when you appoint a new manager? Um, a lot of people with big names being touted, big names generally means big money, and that's not really what the club has been doing for the last two or three years. So is that a consideration when you look to appoint your next manager? No, it's not. I mean, I'm looking for the best manager for the Brighton Football Club. If he is the right manager, I'll be talking about what the budgets will be for next season. I'll make sure that he meets with um, some of the staff at the football club. And then um, we go from there. If he decides that he wants to go to a club which has the biggest budget in, in the division and wants to manage in the championship, he'll have to go to a team who have got parachute payments. Uh, but when I uh, am looking for a new manager, that's not my initial consideration whatsoever. Would it be somebody who maybe has more experience of English football, um, maybe as opposed to you know the experience that you've been through with Oscar? Yeah, it may be, it may not be. I, I've, I'm looking at all types of managers, some of which are English, some of which are foreign, some of which have played in this country, some of which haven't. Some have managed and coached in this country, some of them haven't. So um, in an ideal world, they will have... Um, played or managed in this country but if I think the right person is somebody who hasn't then, then we may well bring in that person. You said you've already been very impressed by the calibre of the people that have approached you. How confident do you feel that you can get the right man, I probably know the answer to this one, but in terms of the right man for this particular football club and what lessons maybe do you feel you've learnt over the last two appointments that you've made at the club? I'm learning all the time but I don't regret any of the decisions I've made with my previous appointments and I'll be very hopeful that uh, the next manager of Brighton and Hove Albion Football Club will be a success. I can't guarantee that but I'm very hopeful. What's the time scale on the app appointment? I know you said in the statement yesterday that you don't want to rush things um, but in your own mind with it being the summer, player recruitment, pre-season training and stuff ahead, when do you hope to appoint someone by? There's absolutely no time scale. It will take however long it will take. Um, in terms of player recruitment, that is carrying, an, carrying on uh, with myself and David. We're still getting a lot of uh, input from Nathan Jones as well. We probably won't be um, active in terms of bringing the actual players in until a new manager is recruited, but that process is ongoing. In terms of the budget for next year, when would you likely, do you have a figure in mind now? Do you know where you are and will that be helpful when you're recruiting or is that something that is still an ongoing process? Yeah, I've got a, a good figure uh, in mind. It's not set just yet and the main reason for that is there is um, uh, meetings about financial fair play. There's a vote happening in, in 10 days and that will have a bearing on the division and it will also then have a bearing on our potential budget for next season. Certain people have already been named and Tim Sherwood is top of the list, a, a very long list and an impressive list as well. Would he be someone that you'd be considering or would be the sort of candidate you would want at this football club? As you know I'm not going to talk about any names um, at all at this stage or any stage until we have a manager to talk about. Just finally, Tony, you travel with the fans on the train. I see you there. You did. You came back from Derby. You have an affiliation with them. Is this something that you, you know, in terms of this period, I know last year it was very difficult because you couldn't really communicate with them. Is this something that you want to say to them over this coming, what could be two weeks, two months, about the future of the club and where it's going over the, for the next sort of few months and into next season? Well, we're all massively disappointed after our playoff defeat, but it's not about the defeat per se, it's how we, we as a club react to that. We've got to get stronger from that defeat. In fact, it's two playoff defeats in a row. We've got to, as a club, um, move on, get stronger, and continue to be ambitious to reach our goal of the Premier League. Um, this is the close season, it's a chance for us to to uh, take stock over the last 12 months, bring a new manager in, bring quite a few new players in uh, and I for one can't wait for, for pre-season at our new training ground and the start of the new season is in, in August so I think we all should have a lot to look forward to.